Texas should have the advantage really at every single position here in terms of size, ability, and experience. Just keep things simple. Coleman <laughs> gets it. And get out of Coleman's way. This is just another example of how Coleman has gotten better. Shot the runner off the <laughs> right foot, recognizing the clock was running down. Once they got behind, the resiliency was not there. Tamaka Hepa for three. Sims rebound, put back and once. And App State, Tulsa, Tennessee, Coastal Carolina, and UNC Wilmington. And the lob and the gather and the throwdown by Kai Jones. And they're going to force Texas to, see, to shoot threes and see if they're if this is one of their nights. Beveris really struggled with that outside shot against Providence and one run. The Panthers making it a little too close for comfort against the Longhorns here at the ATX. Both have played solidly. As Cade Sanchez is back in the game, he was in immediate foul trouble with two quick ones as Chase Feberis picking up where he left off. But from the beginning, as a freshman, when you saw his stroke from outside, you immediately liked it. I did, I still like it. Just hasn't translated really well. Baseline drive for Sanchez. Finds Peterson, changes hands, and goes off glass. Nice finish there. So, does a potential dominant second half mean anything? Does it carry through at all, in your opinion, to Big 12 play? And one at John Michael Wright on the three-point shot. I mean, they were only up three yeah. in, the, in the first half, so. Low by Matt Coleman. He's now in double digits with 10. West Virginia is back. Sims loses the handle, gets it back. Five on the shot clock. Here's Kai Jones in traffic, but delivers both road games. Gets away. First turnover for Coleman. And one for Bryant Randleman. You made the point you'd rather get second place instead of win. I would and rather lose in the national wait championship. Wait a minute. Game. I, do I get to finish? Yes. Go. No. Oh, Feathers wow. finishes. More against a team like Providence because I think Roy, Royce can give this team a lot. And the Brock Cunningham signing. Oh, no. Wow. Coleman swatted that into Big 12 play. Oh, how about Coleman coming out of nowhere? It's a nice big time block there. I mean, Tubby's got to be excited about things to come. John Michael Hughes knocks that one down. And they pick up their 10th win of the season for the Longhorns. 10 and 2 going into Big 12 play.